Hello, YouTube. This is Remy. We're back for some more Pokemon Heart Gold. Well, Sacred Heart Gold. Because I have a Sacred Heart, you know. Okay, have we fought this guy? Yeah, he's faced that way. Uh, how's our Pokemon doing? Do we need to go heal? Yes, we do. Ember and Gat are both really low. Wow. Okay. So let's go ahead and run there. Uh, it's been a little bit, probably about a week since I last recorded this, which is probably a problem. Probably a problem. Say that ten times fast. Um, now, that's not saying that I have forgotten anything. I still am fairly well attuned to this, uh, this season. What Pokemon we have and what levels and whatnot. Uh, but I might get more confused in the future because I've just started a series in Pixelmon, which is a Minecraft mod that puts Pokemon into Minecraft. So I might not remember which... No, the... I'm not going to the Mart, I'm going to the Poké Center. Uh, I might not remember which Pokémon is on this versus which Pokémon is on that if we have overlapping Pokémon. Alright. Yes. So, if you like Pokémon, and you like Minecraft, I would go check out that series. It's just starting. Um... I'm... I'll, I won't explain anything of it. You can watch the first episode. I explain pretty much everything that we're going to do in the first episode. Uh, so, yeah. Go watch that if you're interested. And if you like Minecraft, there will be a lot of building. I will be doing mechanical stuff in it. Uh, like, mechanical, I mean, like, redstone-y stuff. Uh, as well. And so, you might like it, even if you don't really necessarily like Pokemon. But if you don't really necessarily like Pokemon, I don't know what you're doing watching this episode. Or this season at all, really. Oh, did we already catch two in here? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, we did, because I couldn't get a... Ghastly. I wanted a Ghastly. Metatite, I wouldn't have wanted anyway. All right. So, fighting Psychic, huh? Well, B would probably do good, but it's Bug. Maybe Bug Flying? I don't know. Hold on, let's... Summary. Bug poison, okay. Um, I kind of want to put out B. Hopefully, B can take a hit. I'm pretty sure B can. She's she's a pretty tough gal. Oh, but bide, crap. Um, let's use twin needle. Yeah. Hopefully, he'll kill him in one shot. Oh god, this isn't gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. You know what? Run, run, thank you, yes. We're faster than it. Okay, didn't want to get hit by that bite. Bite is really, really powerful move. If you don't understand how it works, basically the Pokemon bides its time, you know, doesn't do anything for a couple moves. I think it's, uh, is it a three move to hit or a two move to hit? But. If you get hit while using Bide, or if a Pokemon gets hit while using Bide, it, uh... There we go. Love this music. It, um, increases the damage when Bide finally does hit. So, it's something you gotta watch out for. It's a sneaky kind of move. Sage Troy sent out Abra. Okay, Angler, you're not the Pokemon for this, like, at all. Uh, but B, B is the Pokemon for this, because bug attack moves just stomp psychic attacks in the face. Haha, <laughs> teleport failed. Okay, um, Twin Needle? Yeah, look at that. You one shot, you like half shot an Abra. You half shot an Abra. I'm not sure, I forget what level that is already. I don't think I looked. Okay. Hoot Hoot. Uh, flying Psychic. Should we switch? Yeah, probably. Let's go with Gat. No, 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 let's go with Amp. We gotta get Amp leveled up for this first gym. Amp is our go-to gal. Okay, Hoot Hoot. Um, Thundershock it. Hypno- Of course it lands the Hypnosis. Why is it that every opponent lands a Hypnosis on me, but I never get a Hypnosis in? 
Freaking hacks, man. Hacks. Alright, what's, uh... We got an antidote and a paralyzed heal. Nothing we can do about sleep, then. Air cutter. Not gonna be very effective, I think. A critical hit. It's not very effective. Yeah, so if a crit did that much, a regular hit's gonna do, like, hardly anything. Of course, I think the crit chance for air cutter is kind of high, isn't it? Doesn't it have, like, an improved crit chance? Maybe I'm thinking of a different move. And it keeps using air cutter. Over and over. Ah, there we go. Thundershock. One shot him. What? How is a super effective move only doing that much? Okay, we gotta withdraw Amp because she could get one shot if it's crit. Ah, oh, man. I really wanted to give all the XP to Amp here, though. We'll give the rest to Gat. Hopefully, hopefully, Gat can actually pull this off. Air Cutter might be a little bit more harmful to him. Um, use Water Gun just for the stab bonus. Now, of course, it's faster than you. There we go. Boo! Oh, come on, Scratch. Really? He withdrew? Execute. Ah, uh, crap. Well, at least it wasn't Water Gun. Would have done hardly anything. Okay, let's uh, go with B. Because this is, I think, Psychic Grass or Psychic Bug? Something like that? I forget what type. Yeah, it must be Psychic Grass. I guess it could still be Psychic Bug. Uh, Twin Needle. Yep. Critical hit, even. Super effective critical hit. Man, B is just freaking awesome this early in the game. Go to level 11. Nice. Hoot Hoot. Uh, no, keep battling. You can take out that Hoot Hoot. You're faster than it. You'll just grind it into paste. You know what? Use a Poison Sting, just because it... we don't really use that. Okay. Oh, B's almost to level 14. Hop it. Uh, no, that's grass. It's like grass flying, maybe? Or it might just be grass. Bug bite. Oh, yeah. Level 14, B drill. Oh, yes, that is nice. Sage Troy. You just got owned in the face. I don't want to talk... Well, no, she might give me stuff. Hello? Oh, hi, Remy. How are you? I found a useful item while shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry. But I asked the delivery man to take it to you, so you should stop by the nearest Pokemon department store and pick it up. I know it'll be useful. You don't know that, woman. You don't know that. You could have, like, sent me a revive. Don't you know that Pokemon die? Woman, revives are useless. Why is there a Starly in here? That's weird. Um, let's just run. Oh, seriously? I guess it is level 11. I should've... Oh, crap! Oh, no, it's not... It's not super effective. Never mind. Okay, start hitting B so we can switch to a faster Pokemon. Unless... Ah, uh, why didn't it go up? I hit up. Okay. Well, okay, no, 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 no. Pokemon. Um, um, Ember. Yeah. Ember. Run. Yay! Okay. We need to go heal and apparently pick up stuff at the store. Just the ladder. Seriously. Another one. And it's a beat up. Oh, 
Okay, um... Pokemon... Amber... Okay... No, 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 no. Oh, you have Metal Claw? I forgot you got Metal Claw. That's nice to know. Okay. Of course, him learning Metal Claw, he already, he has a, I think Metal Claw is like times two effective against grass. When fire moves are times four effective. I believe. Okay, so I'm gonna move my mic while we're healing real quick. Uh, Cause it's a little bit low. And I kind of been punching to talk into it, so you might hear something. Okay, much better. Much better indeed. Yes. Thank you, Nurse Joy, for restoring my Pokemon. Okay. So... The, uh, the Pokemart here should have a delivery person. Ah, yes. Good day! Yes, it is Remy. Um, obtained a super potion. What up? Look forward to the next visit. Okay. That cool, man, that cool. We still have two Pokemon to catch in this lake. I do remember that. I think those are the only two Pokemon we can currently catch. Because we've caught some here, and we've caught some on the route that's below us. Yeah. I think that's the only ones we can catch. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um. Come on. It takes forever to get up this freaking building. Okay, uh, I think there's... this one's gonna be difficult, right? So we're gonna start off with B. Okay. He should just, like, say stuff and then go away. We shouldn't have to fight the rival here. I'm pretty sure. No match for you, huh? Yep, just used escape rope, because he's too good for walking down ladders, apparently. Let's get this. Ah, oh, it's another escape rope. We're not going to be too cool for walking down ladders, though. And it's a beat-off. We're just going to run from it, because beat off suck. Okay. Oh. So good of you to come up here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a brighter future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Da -da 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 -da. Elderly sent out Bell Sprouts. Well, I'm sorry, dude. Bellsprout's gonna get wrecked. Oh, it lived! What? I can't believe it lived. Okay. Uh, Poison Sting. Beedrill is just a grass-type Pokemon eater. Okay. Chingling. Which I believe is a psychic type, maybe? It might be like psychic rock or something, I don't know. Maybe it's evolved form of psychic? This one might not be psychic. Oh, nope. Half a hit, taken out, must be psychic. Okay. Send out Hoot Hoot. Um. I would like to get somebody else some XP, you know. So we'll send out our electrified amp, or our amperage here. Okay, uh, Thundershock. 
Of course it used fucking hypnosis. Bloody hypnosis. Stupid move, lands far too often. All right, Pokemon. What's uh, Angler's moves? It has Thunder Wave, that's it. Never mind. You better wake up, Amp. Wake up. Aerial, oh crap, we gotta get Amp out of there. Oh wow, that didn't do very much damage. Maybe, maybe we can try and get her to wake up. Come on, wake up now. Wake up. Confusion is a little bit more damaging. Okay, Amp, if you don't wake up this time, we have to take you out. Yeah, we definitely, Oh, and you're confused. But at least you're fast asleep, so you can't hurt yourself. Okay. Um, go with Ember. B can come in and sweep up if she needs to, because it is a psychic type. Alright, so let's go with Ember. Ember used Ember! Really? That's all it did? What the hell? Maybe Metal Claw is a better move. That was kind of damaging, though, right there. Um, Metal Claw. That, man. Okay, Confusion, come on. Okay, critical hit. Pokemon. Gat. I really don't want to put B out, because B might just get wrecked. Really? Come on now. Freaking hypnosis. What is up? Why is hypnosis being so... I don't even remember what rage does off the top of my head. Aerial Ace. Not gonna do very much. Come on, Gat. Amp didn't wake up. You gotta wake up. You gotta wake up and you gotta deal some damage. So that we can make sure that... Really? Gat's confused now. And he's still fast asleep. And we gotta withdraw him, because a crit could probably kill him. Alright, B, it's back to you. We do have some potions, I know that. Ah, crap, Aerial Ace. I was hoping it was gonna be a confusion. Okay, you should be faster. Twin Needle. And it's not very effective. Damn it! I might lose B here. Please don't. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Oh, agility, really? Okay, okay. Let's weigh our options after this, right? Bag. Okay, so we got a super potion. Um, super potion is 50, right? Yeah. Okay, but what's our Pokemon options? We got Alice and Angler at full health, but they're way low level compared to this guy. Ah oh, man, who can take a hit? Well, Angler has more life, so we're gonna put Angler on the field. Hopefully, Angler can take a few hits, so that we can heal some people up here. How much does Area Lace do? Not that much. Good. All right, so let's try some potions. Awesome. Confusion might do a little bit more damage. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, we probably shouldn't risk it. We're gonna throw Amp out again. Hopefully Amp will wake the frick up. Come on, Amp. You can do this. You can do this. Ah, uh, I didn't mean charge. I meant freaking... God dang it. You better not wake up this turn. And woke up. Okay. Well then. Better not use hypnosis this turn. Don't you have like statics, cling stuff? Is uh, maybe he's not using physical attacks. I thought aerial ace was a physical attack though. There we go, thunder shock. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, finally. Okay, who's up next? Ember gains. Yeah, everybody gains XP. Gotcha. Cheribi. Uh, we're gonna switch to B. Because B can one-shot this thing, I'm sure. Twin Needle. Get a little little Twin Needle action. 
And it's the last Pokemon. Uh, maybe not if it's a... Oh, no, it's only a level 12. Never mind. Twin Needle? Oh, yeah. One shot in the bag. And level 15 for B. Too bad B's gonna be almost completely useless in the first gym. But he's good for, you know, fighting stronger opponents to get XP off of. What's your favorite evolution of Eevee? Okay. I'm gonna say Jolteon because we need another electric type. And Jolteon... Jolteon can get some electric... Well, I think it's like level 18 or something before he gets his first real good electric move. Oh, man. Maybe we should go Victorion. Because Victorion's like a freaking tank. But we already have a water type. Glaceon is kind of a special attacker, too. Um, and then we got Espeon last time. Umbreon and Jolteon are kind of defensive. Uh, and I don't think we'll have much use for a dark type Pokemon. Grass type, maybe, but we have. Do we even have a grass type on us? I don't know, grass types are easy to find, though. And Flareon's just freaking worthless. Uh, like, seriously, I would rather have Umbreon than Flareon. Um, yeah. So, it's between Vaporeon and Jolteon. Um, Vicburgon isn't necessarily strong against flying, but it's also not necessarily weak against flying. Plus, she's got a lot of health. She would be a good stall... staller. So we're gonna go Vicporygon. Because we do have two electric types in our party already. Oh, and please take this as well. A move containing Flash. Booyah! Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Let me... Ah, crap. We're gonna have to run from all this. It's a Zigzagoon! Zigzagoon. Okay, B. You're gonna... This is what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna flap your wings in a retreating direction. If that is even a direction. Okay. What else? Well, we have two more Pokemon to catch. Man, I probably... Well, we have two water Pokemon to catch, and we just got Vaporeon, so... The water Pokemon are going to have to be damn good, but they can be used for future uh, gyms. This one... Again, water Pokemon aren't necessarily bad against flying, but they're not necessarily good either. It's one of those trade-offs. And I know he doesn't have any... He doesn't have, like, a Zapdos or something. That's, like, electric flying. He might have something that is Tri-Attack, which has an electrical damage in it. I just don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, okay. Come on. Um, we can... Let's take a look at Alice, okay? Summary. Nose Bite. I'll probably keep Bite. That's probably all I'll keep out of their moves right now. If we evolve to Umbreon. It's got a boosted special attack and a debuffed speed, I believe. Or a boosted speed and a debuffed special attack. Um... Neither of those matter, because we picked, uh, Vic Porygon, who is a tankity tank tank McTankerson. Ah, here it is. Use on Alice. What? Alice is evolving? Oh, I've never seen the sprite for Vic Porygon in this yet. I don't think I've ever gotten a Vic Porygon in... Either of my... Or any of my 
games that are in this world. I know it changed from the first time to the, you know, heart gold. From gold to heart gold, but still. Okay, um... You know what, that means we should probably be training up, Alice. Actually, we should probably be training up Amp, and that's the... We're going to the perfect place to train up Amp. And Angler, actually. We're gonna be fishing. So we have two Pokemon catches here, I believe. Um, you know what, let's check the uh, PC just to make sure. Okay. Oops, no, no, no. Okay, so that and that, that and that we all caught at the beginning, that we caught in a cave, that we caught fishing, that we caught down route, the route below us, that we caught, these two we caught in Bellsprout Tower, and this one we also caught in the cave. So yeah, we have two to catch in this lake. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Maybe we cut Geodude down off the, um... Because... Hold on. Yeah, maybe we cut Geodude not in a cave. I can't remember. But Geodude wouldn't have come from here, so we're safe. Uh, where is the rod? There we go. Old rod. Use. Boom! Landed a Pokemon. Gotta catch this. Hopefully we have Pokeballs. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Do we have Pokeballs? It's Staryu, too. I think we have some Pokeballs. Okay. Um. No, no, no. I meant to look at bag. Okay, yes. We have... Uh, seven Pokeballs. So we need something that can just, like, tank this. Get. Star is a nice Pokemon. Water Psychic. Good combination. Um, I think it just starts off as water and then evolves to Water Psychic. But it can learn, um, some interesting moves, actually. I think it can learn, like, um, Water Pulse. Uh, might even be able to learn Ice Beam. I know it can learn Surf. It can learn some decent moves. Water gun? <laughs> water gun's not that good of a move, though. Really, water gun did that much damage, and it's not very effective? It did as much as scratch. This star, you must be pretty tanky. Oh, freaking recover. Crap. Hopefully it just spams recover. Rapid spin, not that good of a new move, but uh, there are times when it's useful. Harden. Okay. So I think we just saw all of its moves there. We should be able to tank this down to a decent amount of health before we throw a Pokeball. As long as it doesn't spam recover on us. And hard. Okay. I think your hard and your defense is at max, or isn't it? Isn't it close to max? It should be close to max. Water gun? Okay. Oh man, Scratch is hardly doing anything. Maybe we should get move to Water Gun. Water Gun might do more damage now. Because it's not a physical attack. And it gets the stab bonus. Oh, but we don't really want to hurt it too much now. Okay, good. That's perfect. Perfect. Bag. Pokeball. Go. Come on, catch the star you. All right, cool. We got a star you. That's nice. All right, what do we want to name this star you, huh? Star you's are genderless. Uh, Star-shaped Pokemon. At night, the middle of its body slowly flickers with the same rhythm as a human heartbeat. So its little gem, I guess, is the heart. Um. Give a nickname to start you. Yes. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. 
I mean, we could just name it Star. Oh, we named our last one Fallen, right? As in Fallen Star. Let's name this one Rise, because there's really no gender relation. Rise. Rise. That's how you spell Rise, isn't it? Uh, if not, then just ignore it. I'm trying to be clever by misspelling a word. That's it. Alright, so we have one more Pokemon to catch here, and then we can start um, farming XP from them. Nothing. Not even a nibble. Come on, come on. You can give me a Pokemon. Not even a nibble. Hey kid, do you wanna... You wanna go, like, uh, swimming? And, like, scare Pokemon towards my fishing rod? That'll work, right? Because Pokemon still eat when they're scared. Fleeing from an angry two-year-old who... I shoved into the pond. Oh, come on. Would you... Stop doing that. Ah, there we go. Landed a Pokemon. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got a Magic Carp. All right, I'll take a Magic Carp. Um, still wish we would have gotten a Magic Carp somewhere else, but that's fine. Uh, tackle. It shouldn't know. It knows Bubble. Wow. I was going to say, it shouldn't know anything too damaging, but Bubble can be kind of damaging. Um, I don't know. I don't want to one-shot it with Thunder Shock. Maybe B? Because B shouldn't be too powerful against it. I don't really know. What to do here? Okay, bubble. Not gonna do much. Um, try a bug bite. Shouldn't be super effective, but it still did a lot of damage. Okay. Reversal? Crap. Doesn't that do a lot of damage since I just did a lot of damage to it? No. Okay. Whew. I guess it's a fighting move, so. Uh, use a Pokeball. Gyarados will be very nice down the line. Yay! Okay, so a female Gyarados. Now, I know technically this name should go to a Lapras. Um, but we're going to name it Nessie. Loch Ness Monster, Nessie. Nessie. Awesome. All right, so we can... Nah, I don't want to talk to Joey. Youngster Joey. Ah, okay, no, I thought we picked on the freaking Poke Gear for a second. I was like, ah, crap. Oh, yep. Okay, so let's see what, what Amp here can do. A Poliwag, that wouldn't have been bad. I wouldn't have minded a Poliwag. Especially if I could have gotten it to evolve into the frog one. Because I've never actually used one. I don't know how powerful they are. Freaking hypnosis again! Oh my god. Why does it have to be so mean? It's not going to do much damage, Poliwag. Just not going to do much. It might wake up Amp, though. That would be nice. Water spurt. Sport. Water sport. Okay. Still not waking up, Amp. Come on. I gotta get, like, smelling salts or something. This hypnosis thing is crazy. Freaking hypnosis. Yay! We woke up. Okay, let's see if we can one-shot a level... One level above us. Almost. We're, we're getting close. Bubble? Um, I actually think that Poliwag... Maybe not Poliwag, but its evolved forms are pretty dang tanky. And they're like water fighting, which is a cool mix of 
It's a pretty cool mix of uh, move types. Okay. So that was pretty good. Let's try one more here to end off the episode. Right, please? No? Nibbles? No. Nibbles. <laughs> I should have called Magic Carp Nibbles! Oh, that would have been a good name for a Gyarados. Oh, unless he's a good name too. Okay. Come on. Give me something to freaking... And I'll do some of this off camera. Because, uh, quite frankly, this can get a little boring. Not even... Freaking hell. Come on, man. Please? Pretty please? Not... Why are there no nibbles? I mean... Nibbles... Nibbles should be happening. I have a feeling that, like, people drop food in this pond all the time. You know, it seems like it would be a good environment. It looks clean. Nice blue water. Um... There's lily pads. There sh this thing should be teeming with life. Where's all the life? Freaking hell. Come on now. Come on now. Ah, oh, freaking... Give me one more Pokemon to end the episode on. Please. Oh, that was my fault. Admittedly, my fault. Getting a little impatient here. My bad. I apologize. But game, you really gotta... You gotta... Give me something. I'm not gonna stop until you give me something. You're not gonna give me something. Freaking hell. Why aren't you gonna give me anything? Come on, Amp. Like, electrify the water to wake up all the fishies. We should, we should start fishing with electric-type Pokemon, like, on the end of the reel. You know, like, fishing with dynamite, but with lightning. <laughs> uh, come on, now. Give me something. I'm gonna kick this two-year-old back here into the pond. I swear to God, I will. Thank you! All, all it took was the threat of a two-year-old. That's all it took. Two-year-olds are the bane of everybody's existence. Okay, um... Thundershock. Good job. I always liked uh, Magikarp because it looked like he had crowns on either side of his body when I was a kid. Um... I mean, I know they're, like, supposed to be fins and stuff, but they kind of... They just look like crowns. Alright. That was pretty easy. Eh. Magikarp doesn't give off that much XP. Alright, so. I guess that'll end off this episode. Uh, next time, I will have leveled up some peoples. Um, and we might even... Actually, we should get this Apricorn down here. Boo, whoops, booyah. Uh, next time, we will, uh, maybe, 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 attempt to go <laughs> and fight some of the uh, pre-trainers in the gym. But not the gym leader. Uh, I mean, unless I, like, really grind and get really, like, Amp would have to be, like, level 15 to 18. Amp or, um... Oh, what's the other one called? Angler. One of them would have to be 15 to 18, and the other one would have to be, like, 16 to 20. At least. To even consider this. And I would want Alice to be up there as well. And we can't use B, so I might as well put... Well... I don't know. We'll, we'll keep B on us for now. Actually, hold on, hold on. Before I log out... Let's consider our team options, right? I want a full team for this first gym. And we have more than enough Pokemon. 
No, 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 not deposit. Go back. Okay, so... Staryu wouldn't be a bad choice. Actually, let's take a look at our new Pokemon. Uh, illuminated raises the likelihood of meeting wild Pokemon. Interesting. Uh, has Recover, which is a nice one. You're... So swimmer. Okay. Um, you are no-go. You own Tempo is nice, but you don't really have any moves. However, you might eventually get some good moves. I don't know. I'll have to look you up. I don't really know much about these kinds of Pokemon. Um, Bellsprout's a no. Bling Jr., maybe. Uh, definitely good for the... Uh, defensive stalling, but we already have a Victorigon. Pretty defensive Pokemon. Shelly, also defensive, um, but we already have two, uh, water Pokemon. You would be very defensive as well. Protect against one-hit KOs, um, but it would take forever to level you up. You, well, you're Gutsy, wow. Guts is a good one. Ratatat might, uh, might come in handy. Now, Kurt. Kurt could come in handy, too. Shed Skin is nice. Bug Bite, but, uh, it's a Bug-type Pokemon, so never mind. Bug-type Pokemon are a no-go for this first gym. And we're definitely not using it. So, I might bring in Geodude. I might bring in Rata uh, Ratatat. Uh, if I do... And I might bring in Bling. If I do, we're going to get rid of B. That's probably the only one we're going to get rid of out of our party. Unless for some reason... Yeah, I don't... I don't, can't remember the types of flying Pokemon he has, but... Yeah. So we'll exchange one of those Pokemon, but for now this is what I'm keeping. Anyway, I've been Remy. This has been Pokemon Sacred Gold. Let's leave off with a uh, Amp here. Amp is wandering around. Well, how nice of you. Amp is still wandering around. Okay, he's not going to pay attention. Peace out, guys.